Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about SPDX license number, Pragma solidity and contract development environment. So if you remember from our solidity sample program video, where we have created a sample program in solidity, in that video, I told you one thing, right? Whenever you are creating your smart contract, you have to first write this line, that is the SPDX license number, and then this Pragma solidity line. Now, what is this SPDX license number? Let us first answer this. Well, let me first answer this. So this SPDX license number is the license number that you give to your contract. So if you remember from our previous video about our solidity compilation process, I told you that your smart contract doesn't need to be public. Means whenever you are deploying your smart contract, your byte code is getting deployed on the blockchain. And this is smart contract, the source code, does not need to be public, right? Why? Because let's say if you will make your contract public, chances are high that someone will copy your contract. So let's say as a company, you have worked hard in order to create this, this is smart contract where thousands of developers have worked for your smart contract, just an example. And now someone is copying your smart contract. This will not look good, right? So chances are high that you think, okay, I do not want to make my smart contract public in nature. But when we talk about blockchain, blockchain is all about transparency. So it is a good practice. It is a good practice to make your smart contract public, even though it is not necessary. But since blockchain deals with transparency, blockchain is all about transparency. It is a good practice that whenever you are creating your smart contract, you should make your smart contract public in nature. Now, when you will make your smart contract public in nature, again, the chances are high that someone might copy your smart contract, right? And you do not want that. And for that, we have this SPDX license number so that we can tell, okay, this is smart contract is having this license number and this is smart contract belongs to me. So if someone tries to copy your smart contract in future, then you can have a copyright claim on that smart contract that this is smart contract belongs to me and you cannot copy this is smart. And I've also provided this in your notes. Okay, I will share the notes as well. So SVDX, trust in smart contracts can be better established if the source code is available. As I said, for blockchain, it is a good practice to make your source code available to everyone. Since making smart contract source codes always available, always touches on legal problems with regards to copyright, the Solidity compiler encourages the use of machine-readable SVDX license identifiers. Every source file should start with a comment indicating its license. So this is what I was saying, right? That you need to have a license number so that there are no copyright issues. And before publishing, consider adding comment SVDX license identifier, SVDX license number, whatever license number you have, and then you can write that. Otherwise, if you are, if you have a source code that you do not intend to make it public, in that case, you can have this comment that SVDX license identifier unlicensed. And let's say you want to know more about this, then I will share the link of this SPDX license number website where you can learn more about this SPDX. Okay. I will share the link of this website in the description of this video. Now let's talk about our second thing that is this Pragma Solidity. What is the meaning of this Pragma Solidity? So whenever you are creating your smart contract, your Solidity language asks you to tell uh, which version of compiler you are actually using for compiling your smart contract. So if you will go to our compile section, we have discussed about it, right? When I was talking about the Remix ID tutorial. So in this, if you will see, we have a lot of compiler versions. So this Pragma Solity is telling that we can use compiler version of 0.7.0 .0 less than 0.9.0. So if you are going to use, let's say, compiler version 0.5.11, in that case, it will not be a good thing. Okay. So now again, you can see that again and again, it is uh, like again and again is going back to 0.81.7. Let me again go back to 0.1.52. I have uh, removed this auto compile button so that it does not auto compile by its own. I'm going just below this 0.7.0. That is 0.5. Now. If you will see, now it is giving an error, right? That your compiler version that you are using is not greater than 0.7.0 and less than 0.2. So 
9.0 so you cannot use this compiler version so when you are using this pragma solidity greater than equal to 0.7.0 and less than 0.9.0 you can use any compiler version which is in this range so you can use this it is not it will not be an issue you can use let's say 0. Uh, 10.0 as well it will not be an issue but if you are going to use any version less than that 0.6.1.2 you will see that it will now let's talk about contract deployment environment so if you will see your remix id provides you with a lot of different environment to deploy your smart contract and we will use some of them in future but for now like for understanding for learning solidity we will be sticking to remix vm london but once we will reach to the project then we will start using the other environment that are available in this solidity in this remix id okay but for now for the practice purpose or uh, like as a beginner what i am going to use is remix vm london what is this remix vm london this is a sandbox environment where you can test your smart contract so it is providing you an environment where you can test your smart contract run your smart contract deploy your smart contract without paying a single amount of money okay so it is like you are testing your smart contract before deploying it to the main blockchain so it is like a local blockchain that is running in your browser okay so for in the starting we are going to use this and once we will uh, reach to our project in that case then we will use other contract development contract development environment as well okay so i hope now you have understood what is the use of this spdx license number what is the use of this pragma solidity and what is this contract development environment all about which is providing you an environment to deploy your smart contract i'm regularly going to provide you new blockchain courses on this channel if you have any doubts or query you can comment below this video if you want to directly interact with me you can come to instagram or you can be on linkedin or twitter wherever you want you can directly message me and i will answer you your queries there so thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye and do not forget to like share and subscribe